Hey everybody, hope you guys had a good Christmas. Uh, just want to share Nakamichi's MB10 Music Bank CD Changer. Pretty amazing tech. Uh, it's basically a five CD changer and it uses a slot instead of a drawer. And uh, it was able to, uh, Nakamichi's engineers were able to choose something really special. They were able to uh, get a five CD changer and a spot this small. They basically used this same mechanism in a uh, computer server as well. Like you could buy these drives to put in computer servers. Now you can't just buy one off the shelf if yours is broke because there's a different circuit board inside, but same basic form factor That's what I'm getting at. Now these operated a bit different than other changers you might have heard of, you know, for slot loaders like a modern PlayStation or modern any slot loader or Xbox, they use a basically use a roller to pull the disc in. This one actually uses a gear belt. Now the gear belt has got teeth on the inside and then it's got just rubber on the outside and it works by uh, touching the side of the, it, it basically rubs up against the side of the disc and pulls the disc in and uh, and so it, nothing touch, nothing touches any part of the disc. But if you got a roller, you know, it might scratch up your disc, you know, if you got something really dirty on it. But this touch, just touches from the side, so you don't have to worry about that. And so that was one innovation on this. They also integrated that into their uh, Nakamichi CD700. It has the same belt pull-in system as this. But uh, where this is really sets itself apart from, uh, as far as technology goes, is this uh, changer mechanism. It's basically doing this with no slots. You know, it's basically just using, uh, it's basically just shifting it around and putting it on a spindle. You know, uh, I'll just give you guys a brief demonstration of how it works. To load these, you hit a jack and the, dri the flap falls down. And you load one disc at a time. Next, you you hit the now. I could if I just want to play one disc, I could just hit play now and just play and play that disc. But what we're going to do, we're going to load a few discs so you can see how it works. Now I'm hitting disc two. Now I hit eject again. Now I'm going to hit this three, hit eject again, and you see it's basically just shift them and then it's, you know, stacking them up. And you're really supposed to run it with the uh, top on it, of course. It gives it a little better stability, but for just demonstration purposes, you know, we're going to run it like this. It should be okay. Now we're basically are just going to uh, play it right now. And uh, you see that the disc is playing, and it's like about a millimeter, maybe two millimeters up under the other disc. So that's how it's doing it, how it's achieving playing in such a small space. Is it's basically just shifting these around, and it's just playing in between the other disc. I mean, uh, pretty, pretty innovative, if you ask me. And uh, some other companies used their drives, you know, over the years, but... Uh, I'm surprised they didn't really uh, sell this tech to somebody else after they got out of the home separates market. Basically, now they're just selling uh, sound bars and such as that. And uh, th but this tech, I'm, I'm really surprised, as mentioned, they didn't sell to somebody else. I mean, can you imagine a Xbox or a PlayStation that you could load five games into, and uh, you know, without having to eject any of them? just play game to game versus having to load and unload. You know, I could see it for something like that, and, uh, you know, which would be pretty cool. But uh, so now let me switch to disc one so you guys can see how fast this works and give a better idea of, of it swapping discs. Next time we'll go to disc one. See, it's just basically shifting them around.
Now, the earlier version of this was uh, the world's fastest CD changer. I don't know how fast this one is. It seems pretty fast, though, but the other, at one time they had the world's fastest CD changer. So, uh, well, pretty, uh, pretty neat stuff. I just thought I would share this with you guys. And Oh, yeah, on the uh, output section, their output section is actually much more comprehensive than you see here. Up under here is... Uh, I believe it's another circuit board. It, or they might, yeah. I can't remember if it's another circuit board or if they just put it on the other side. But I've had one of these apart before. And it's uh, it's got a bunch of other components up under here. Then it's got a shield over those components on the underside. So the DAC, you got your op amps on this side, but the DACs are on the other side. They're pretty decent, too. They're analog devices, so... Uh, and I see where they can be modded and upgraded, but it's a little pain to do this one because you got to remove all the shields and all that. But uh, I started to do it one time, but uh, got into another project. But uh, anyway, uh, pretty neat unit, and I just thought I'd share this with you guys. And uh, well, y'all have a good one.